your girl's wearing a center part and it's not that bad. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I was asked to do a video on how I do my wigs. Y'all, I am not a hair person. Like I wear my hair, my hair, I wear the same all the time. I started wearing wigs because I wanted to change it up and I did this one today. First time ever wearing a center part. This is it, this is what it looks like. I think the install came out okay, but I don't know. I think I'm kind of feeling it. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna get into the install, but before I do, if you're new, please join the family, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna know when my uploads go live, turn on your notification bell. I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer because I still need to decide if I'm even gonna upload this. <laughs> I'm such a mess, but whatever. If you wanna see how I installed this wig, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I'm gonna try to make this video not be too long, so we're just gonna get with it. I'm excited, I'm nervous, because I feel like I'm a ramble. We are using a wig that I bought from Ronnie Hair, and it came as a straight bob, pre-plucked virgin hair. It's the Swiss Lace 13 by six, and it is a fake scalp wig. Right now the wig is showing that it's $268.99 on their website. It was $215 when I bought it and then I had a coupon. I don't remember how much off, but I ended up paying $180 for it. Now, I don't normally do center parts, but this one is a center part. I've never done a center part, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, the wig did come straight, but I decided to crimp it myself. This is the lace in the front, so it does look like it's a pretty good color. And then I will take it, these are my little wig head stands, and I will show you. This is what it looks like with the fake scalp. So I already cut the lace, most of the lace off the front, and then this diamond pattern here is the fake scalp. There are two combs here. And then there is also a comb in the back and you do have your adjustable straps. There is no, oh, there is also if you wanna use the elastic band, but I don't have the little elastic part. So to start off, you wanna make sure that your skin is completely clean. So I have alcohol, have a paper towel, and I'm going to just use this on my hairline. All I have right now on my face is my skincare. So one thing I don't have that I do want to get is some of the um, skin protectant that people use sometimes, like a primer. I haven't gotten that yet, but yeah. So this is just to make sure that everything lays down and sticks without any adhesive. I do have the black got to be gel. I am gonna use this in the front of my hair just to push this back. And I don't know how to braid my hair, so what I normally do is just put it, like I part it down the middle and then I pin it across the back of my head. It's not anything special. I'm gonna try to do all the steps that I have seen people do to make sure it's right. So I'm just gonna speed through this part. hair is pinned and then I personally like using a wig grip so because I'm literally just putting this on for the video and then I'm taking it right back off probably I'm just gonna use this and this helps to basically just keep your wig from slipping off which if you're gluing it down you don't really need to do this this also helps the wig in the front, this is where my part's gonna be, so this will help cover where the fake scalp isn't. 
So before you apply any adhesive, the first thing you wanna do is figure out where you want the wig to sit on your forehead. We are gonna see, I feel like center parts look crazy on me because my forehead is big, but every time I see somebody with one, I love how it looks. All right, so it is secured in the back and this is what we are starting with. So as you can see, and I do need to flatten this out a little bit, but based on how it looks on my scalp, that color matches almost perfect. So happy about that because that means I won't have to do too much work to it. So I took my time and made sure I had it in the right place. I cut some of the lace off the front because I just felt like it was too far down on my forehead. My forehead is big, so I'm not trying to cover and act like, like I still have all this space and I wanna pull it back, but if I do, the sides are not gonna stick. So we're just gonna have to, we can take up some of this real estate, it is fine. So I'm gonna pin the sides back. The part that I always struggle with is making the sides stay down because they always end up either lifting or just looking like crap. So what I have seen people do is actually spray on top of the lace to get it to stay down and not actually put anything underneath. And then I noticed that they comb back on here a lot. So I'm gonna try. Now I do have two new products that I just got. This is the Even Wonder Lace Bond. I got the adhesive spray in the Extra Mega Hold Original and then the Extreme Firm Hold in the Active. I've seen this in videos. I'm gonna start with the middle and get that to lay flat and then just kind of work my way down to the sides. I'm gonna start, I don't wanna use gel. I'm gonna use a little bit of gel, just a tiny bit on my finger. And I'm gonna put this right on my forehead where the lace is gonna be. You want to put the lace on your skin and not on your hair, especially if you're using glue because that is what will make your edges come out. So I'm trying to keep all of our edges. My forehead is big enough. So I have my blow dryer. I'm gonna turn that on cool. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the spray and I'm gonna spray that as well. So I can already feel that that's a bit tacky. I did not put powder on my lace because I don't feel like I need it, but you can also do that. I'll go ahead and put a tiny bit. I do have lace tint as well. I bought all that stuff and I just haven't used it. So we're just putting a little bit and then I'm gonna spray that just to hold it. And I put the spray on the lace and the powder just to make sure that the powder doesn't lift. And then here we go. God, I feel that it's so low on my forehead. Well, the biggest thing I used to never do right was comb my hair out of the way. And you just use the edge of your comb to press down the lace. And then I'm just gonna spray this directly onto the lace. And then you comb your hair back out of the way so that it does not get stuck to your forehead, which is also something else I used to not do. And then I would look like crazy in the front. Then that way you can just push the lace down. I'm gonna use my napkin to wipe away the extra. But as you can see, I will say another thing. This is a medium cap. I have a big head, so I think that's another thing that contributes to sometimes my lace not feeling like it fits the way it's supposed to and the wig not fitting the way it's supposed to because I got a big head. Right now, you see, Kind of sticking, but 
need to use the dryer and I'm using it on a cold setting. So this part does look a little white, but that's okay because what you can do if that happens is you just spray right before you put your elastic band, you spray it with a little more hairspray and it will be good to go. So now I'm gonna speed through and do the other side. One thing I will say that I used to do when I would do my wigs and I would see this start getting like this, I would freak out. You see how it looks like white and there's the gel and the spray and whatever? Do not freak out. You have not messed up. That part can be fixed, but this is still not completely stuck down to my head. And honestly, I never really worry about the sides being stuck down too much because you can always lay them down with your sideburns or if you're wearing, if you're not wearing your hair behind your ears, it don't really matter. So I'm just gonna let that sit and dry and do what it's gonna do. That is probably the best I've gotten this to all line up. I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll come back and show you how to clean up this white stuff. All right, so everything is pinned down. And as you can see, we've got this nice, ugly film all around, but that is okay. One thing I've learned when you want to melt your lace is that you can actually part a little bit behind your hairline, like as if you were gonna do baby hairs. I am not because I don't do that. But you part a little bit behind the hairline and you spray it again, and then you tie your hair down. You can either do that or spray directly onto it if you can get the hairs to lay back flat enough. So whichever you choose, I'm gonna pin this back some more and I'm also gonna try to unstick these sideburns. And then I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna tie it with an elastic band. So I'm gonna push this all back like this. I'm going to leave as little of the sideburns out as I can, but we're just gonna do that. See, this is already lifting, so we're just gonna leave that like that. And I'm gonna spray another pass of gel, of the spray, and this time I am gonna use my got to be glued spray mainly because this white stuff that i'm seeing i've never used the spray before i don't know if it's from that or not um i did notice whenever i was styling this hair i used a wax spray and maybe that is why so i'm just gonna use something that i know i've used before just to be sure y'all see no more white Boom, brush, whatever you want to do. That back. Make sure your hairline does not come back up. Brush these hairs back out the way. And then we're gonna tie her down with an elastic band. And we're gonna see what happens because that is supposed to be the final magical step.
All right, so while this is tied down, I'm just gonna go do some house stuff. You normally only need to let this sit for like 10, 15 minutes, but I just want to make sure <laughs> because I wanna make sure it comes out right. So I'm gonna let this sit for a while and probably do something with my face so when we come back with the final look, it'll be cute. So I'll be back in a bit. All right guys, I'm back. <laughs> Note to self, don't ever leave that damn elastic band on your head for an hour. I started playing in my makeup and then I put the band on and now I have a headache. I have marks from the band in my head. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, this is how the hair turned out. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Who am I with a center part and a flyaway? I don't think this is that bad. I'm gonna come close so you guys can see. Please keep in mind, I'm not an expert. I think it looks amazing from far away. The only thing that I don't like is, and I know I see this on other people too, so it's not just me, but like, I like how the hairline looks. I think this looks pretty realistic. You gotta excuse this because like I said, the band was on too long, all of this is hard. This is my skin, I need to clean it up. But I will also get all this together, but I don't know, like, I hate how you can still kind of see from some angles just the cast of the spray because it's so hard. I'll probably just need to clean it up and it'll be fine, but overall, your girl's wearing a center part and it's not that bad. This hair is really nice. I still keep getting a little bit of shedding when I run my fingers through it, and I feel like I should not since, I mean, I don't, did I wash this? I don't even think I washed it. I just straight went to product and styling it. So this is how it looks. I did put some powder in my part, but you can still see the grid lines and yeah. I don't know what the point of a fake scalp is if you're still gonna see that. That's it for this video. This is the hair. Tips, tricks, comments, whatever y'all got for me. I have tough skin, I can take it. So just let me know below. I wanna get better and that's the only way I will do it is if I film it, it'll make me do it and I would love to hear from you guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, something new. And if you're new, I am now gonna try to start doing some hair videos. So let me know what you think. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.